This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. There's going to be a quick update on the news uh, before we get started for the day. Um, we'll, we'll start up for real, for real in a few hours. But anyways, let's get right into it. So first off, we got little Baby signing his first female artist. But what's crazy here is she has no lawyer. They're doing it in like a studio and there's like a sippy cup on the table. You can tell she's not in a lawyer's office and she's not even reading it. She's breezing through the paperwork and it's like, uh, okay, someone has to tell this girl, get a lawyer, okay? I don't care if it was re read to you right in front of you or whatever by him or maybe you went over it with your lawyer a week ago. Your lawyer should be present at the signing. That's so important. I know a lot of people are worried about like, oh, am I going to blow the deal by asking to protect myself? If anybody won't let you have a lawyer present, it's not a deal worth signing. This is just a, uh, a heads up for anybody. You know, I've made mistakes in my life and I would hate for people to make the same mistake. So if you ask for a lawyer and they aren't, they're not with the deal anymore, then don't do the deal. It's not worth it. There's something in there that shouldn't be in there. 50 Cent is being brought to court by someone claiming that he took their life story. Uh, an Alabama man, uh, he was serving life for taking someone's life and uh, he filed $150 million against 50 Cent and others claiming that the show uh, for life was actually based on his life. It was actually based on another person's life. Uh, the, the guy's name is in the the the, the storyline uh but it says aaron lamont uh he's 45 claims 50 cent abc and g unit films benefited from the commercial use of his name and life story by imitating him he's not the only person to represent himself and get out of jail i mean even core mega represented himself and got out of jail i mean he went to the law library represented himself and he actually got himself out uh which is an amazing story that he doesn't tell too often um but that, that takes sheer hope, will, and ambition to do something like that. Um, to, you know, fight the system that wrongly puts you away. Um, which shows that there's many inconsistencies in every system. And it's unfair. Uh, so it says he was... Uh, he, the, the, the character for life was actually based on Aaron Wallace, okay? And th that guy is really Isaac Wright Jr., who was a man who was falsely accused of being a drug lord and proved his own innocence from prison and went on to become an attorney. So look up Isaac Wright Jr. Uh, I looked it up when the show started. Very, very interesting story. Uh, but this court case will probably get thrown out, <laughs> okay? Uh, also, I didn't report, but I didn't put it in here, but Lamar Odom and his girl call it off their engagement. Uh, who knows why, but she says she's transparent and they're no longer engaged. She's back on the market and she wants all basketball players to know. She said, for myself and my children, Lamar has some things that he alone has to work through. <laughs> this guy's never going to get through. Lamar really does have a lot of issues. Uh, everybody that's with him states that. Uh, I hope he's able to get help. He's actually a really nice person, but uh, he has a lot of demons with inside. I think we all do. Just his are a little worse. I mean, you could see it on Nori's Drink Champs. Nori was enabling him on Drink Champs to drink, <laughs> which he shouldn't. And uh, that was pretty dirty. And then, you know, because Lamar always starts getting out of his character when he drinks as you can see and uh that was a sad moment when he was on drink champs actually yeah sad uh, oh yeah eminem's getting credit for biden's win in michigan for letting him use his song then we go on to floyd mayweather so floyd mayweather did an interview and he said he'll never box a boxer again and i think that's very smart because he he's 43 he got this far and he said i'm not gonna fight a young lion out here that is hungry i've already accomplished everything i wanted and i'm not gonna work 
he always says, I'm going to work smarter, not harder. If he gets in there with someone that's more ambitious than him, he says he thinks he can win, but what if he takes a bad shot to the head? He said he'll only fight MMA fighters and stuff like that or exhibitions, uh, but he won't jump in the ring with a hungry boxer right now. It's just too, it's like, you know, why chance it? You know, he has a lot of money. He has a family, you know, I think that's smart. And he also talked about losing um, his baby mom. I mean, that was a very sad, you know, seeing, hearing, seeing him talk about it, him actually being vulnerable for once. Um, and he said he would give up everything, just have her back. And that was really uh, touching. He's had a hard year. He lost his uncle. I think some other things have. Oh, yes. His, uh, his daughter he got it. Uh, got <laughs> NBA young boy. Put, put something inside of there. That's it's crazy. He's he's had a crazy year. <laughs> so I think we all have years like that. I had one a couple of years ago. Um, it's it's rough. Next we got oh yeah, Meek Mill's getting emotional. He says, "Don't let your man or woman isolate you from your family and friends." Maybe that's what happened with him and uh, the last girl he was with. I forget her name. And and then he also goes off on like. <laughs> these love tangents on Twitter. Meek has to stay off of Twitter, man. He just tweets what's on his mind. We all think these things, but you don't tweet them. He says, seen you with that dude in the Roly I bought you. I just hope. And then what? I don't know. And then he says, it's been crazy when you see somebody you know and love and they on celeb time. Just kick it. I miss you too. Let's just kick it. I miss you too. It's like, okay. <laughs> what else does he say? I think that's it. Yo, Meek Mill's crazy on Twitter, man. <laughs> Always has, man. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys are starting your day great and being consistent and stay away from the, the news. It's just, it's just garbage right now. We won't know this thing to the weekend. Let these people go to court and deal with it. You know, it's, it's so close that it's like it has to go to court. It's off by like 50,000 votes in key states. It's very close. And then you have to really look at the ballots. And you know, I'm sure there's a lot of weird ballots on each side that are going to get tossed. And then we'll figure it out. You know, so don't worry about it. Stay, stay your course. I mean, I have to remind myself that like, you get too into this stuff, it's just not good. You know, I had to even talk. I talked to one of you guys, and I was talking about it, and they're like, you know, just go on with your life. And I was like, you're right. I'm getting too wrapped up, in, and and I, I and I'm only getting wrapped up in the legitimacy of the election, not who won. Really, just the legitimacy of it, because like that's very important among a lot of things just like the fairness of our courts and the fairness of our elections there isn't the one thing that really bothers me is there's not enough fairness in our courts you know innocent people get sent to jail every day you know that bothers me and just you know this bothers me too just i just want it to be fair that's it. And then you just accept two one and you move on. But it doesn't seem like we're getting that. It seems like something funny is going on on both sides. And that's just my gut feeling. But um, I'm going to just let it go, man. You know, what, what can we do? We did our part, right? I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And never let anything separate us as people, okay? I respect you. You respect me. And we were we you you judge people on character and nothing else. Okay, I appreciate you guys so much. I'll check you guys in the next one. You guys are awesome. Peace.